and welcome to my channel. Today I have another uh, skincare cleansing item review for you. I'll give it a better name in the actual title of the video. Um, but yeah, so that means I'm doing this tutorial, not tutorial, video, review, I mean, blah. At the end of the day, in case you hadn't noticed, I've had a long day today. My makeup has been on for a long day, so that's why it looks like this. But yeah, there's a reason for that. It's because I'm going to actually use this product on camera in a little bit to show you how it works because that's, you know, the whole point of a review after all. The reason I'm doing that in the evening is because it's a cleaning product and I feel like, I don't know, it just shows it better if it actually is doing, you know, noticeable work. Rather than in the morning when my skin is already clean and I'm only using it to freshen up my skin, but you can't really tell. Well, whereas... When I'm removing makeup, or even as little as I'm wearing right now, you can actually see it on the bristles. Um, because the thing I'm going to review is this face brush, is the Vanity Planet Ultimate Skin Spa. Um, which I've actually had for quite some time. Um, and yeah, I should probably skip um, to one of the reasons why I now skip to it. Well, move on to one of the reasons why I'm reviewing this product right now. It's actually because I didn't notice how much I actually like it, how much my skin enjoys it, until I didn't have it for two weeks. Um, people who've seen my channel before, like people who regularly watch my videos, have probably heard the story before. But a while ago, a few months ago by now, my um, my skin spa burst broke. Like the entire thing, like I, I pressed the button and absolutely nothing would happen. Um, and I figured, you know, well, they're probably not going to send me a new one anyway, whatever, I'll just, you know... Order a different one, so I ordered one that was, um, you know, possible to order within the Netherlands, just because it was quicker. And I ordered a brown skin brush, uh, face spa, that was called. Uh, which is basically a face epilator, but you can take the epilator off and put a brush on it instead. But the brush wiggled instead of twisting. And I just didn't like it as much as the skin spa. Still, it wasn't a bad thing to buy, by the way, because I still use the epilator on my uh, eyebrows every week. But anyway, so I did decide to finally send Vanity Planet an email saying that my uh, brush had broken within a year, like within a little over half a year, I think, um, without any reason. Like, I hadn't dropped it or anything, I hadn't thrown it into water, like, it's, like it can take water splashing against it, but you shouldn't submerge it in water. But anyway, I done nothing wrong with it. It just randomly broke. And to my surprise, they immediately sent me a new one. So that's very, very good. Really good warranty. Really good customer service. I'm really happy about that. Um, so yeah, but anyway, those two weeks, about two weeks that I didn't have the skin spa, I really did notice that my skin was missing it. So I figured when I got my new one, I uh, would just do a review on it and actually tell the world how much I like it. Um, so yeah, onto the actual product. It comes in, well, originally it comes in a cardboard box. And I think there's a manual in it as well and stuff like that. But I threw all of that away and this is the thing that's important. It comes in a container which makes it very handy for travel as well. Um, and everything in it, like you can shake it. I'm being careful with it because I don't want to break it. But, you know, like you can shake it and it's not going to move because everything is just in its own place. And it of course contains the brush and also two separate extra brush heads. Um, and the brush itself, the one that's on it, you can recognize it by the gray stripe in the middle. That's the basic brush. It's a brush that you can just use every day, twice a day, just to cleanse your face. It's very soft, but it will remove any remnants of makeup, any dirt, any sweat, whatever you may have on your face. It will remove it. And the brush itself, by the way, uh, like I said, it can handle water splashing against it, but you shouldn't submerge it in water. If you press it once, it starts turning. If you press it again, it starts turning quicker. And if you press it again, it stops. So if you want it to turn slower or quicker, that's just, you know, up to your own preference. Um, but yeah, this is a brush that I use twice a day in the evening after I've removed my makeup to, you know, just really make sure that everything is clean. And in the morning, just to wake up my skin, freshen it, make sure there's no dust and all for my bed on it. Not that my bed is that dusty, but, you know, I like to start the day fresh, so that's what I use this brush head for. And then it also comes with, oh, by the way, I should show you probably, how you change the brush heads is simply by pulling them off and then replacing them with whatever brush head you want to use next. 
Um, but yeah, the other brush head is a silicon, not silicon, um, this is the exfoliating brush head. You can recognize this one by the black band around it. Um, this one you shouldn't use too often, it's meant for use for like, you know, two to three times a week at most. This is really for scrubbing, exfoliating, removing dead skin. Um, it's still not hard or anything, it's still quite soft, but it's just, it's a bit more stiff than the other brush. And then there is the silicon brush head, which, quite frankly, I have no idea what to use for. It's made of silicon, it's very soft. I occasionally actually use this, just because it feels very nice on my skin. I feel like it just helps the blood flow and everything. But I really don't have scientific proof for that. It only said the silicon brush head, so I literally have no idea what this is meant for. But it feels nice on the skin, it's very gentle, and yeah, it's um, an interesting brush. But yeah, like I said, the one that I use every day is this one, and that's what I'm going to show you right now. So, I've um, washed my face in the sense of I use my face halo and water to just cleanse off all my makeup. Um, and now I'm going to use the brush. Obviously, in a normal situation, when I wouldn't be filming this, I would do that in my bathroom with like just, you know, the sink in front of me and a mirror. However, the lighting is absolutely awful there, so I figured it'd be easier for you to see me using the brush if I would film it right here with my filming setup. Um, which means I'm now sitting here with a towel on my lap and I have a um, little container with warm water next to me to have water. And yeah, other than that, um, you can use a cleanser. Of course, you can also just use water. I prefer to use it with a cleanser and what cleanser you use is entirely up to your own preference. Me, I'm using the Yves Rocher Hydra Vegetal Cleanser because I have a lot of them just standing around waiting to be used. They were on sale at some point and I bought a whole lot of them. But either way, um, yeah, this is what I like using at this particular moment in time. So what I like to do is just dampen the brush and then put my cleanser on it. Not a huge amount. What I like to do is just making slow turning movements, just to make sure that I actually get every single bit of skin. Um, and I always keep it on setting 1, so the lowest speed setting of the two. I feel like that's best for my skin, but of course, um, like with anything else concerning skincare, it's entirely up to what you feel your skin likes. By the way, I really hope you can actually hear me talking over the sound of the um, brush. But yeah. So I just zoomed in a little and as you can hopefully tell some of the remnants of makeup did end up on the brush which is how you can tell that it works. Then what I like to do, um, I don't actually have hand soap here so I have to do it in a moment, but I just put some regular old hand soap on it that we just have standing in the bathroom anyway. Just on the brush and then just rub it a little, rinse it underneath the tap and then dry it and it's good to go. And yeah, moving on to my conclusion about the face brush. It's just really a very nice face brush. It's, yeah, it just, it really, really cleanses my skin well. My skin feels really, really just clean now. Not too rubbed over, you know, not like I've been rough with it. It's very nicely clean and smooth and just exactly how I want it. Um, so yeah, another thing, by the way, that I really like about this brush is that it's quite big and not really wobbly in a bad sense, but it's not too stiff. Like the entire thing, like how the brush is attached to the handle is not too stiff. As in, it's large enough that it just covers larger patches of skin at once. Because I'm sort of a hasty person, so I don't want to spend 12 hours cleansing my skin with a very tiny brush. I'm glad it is quite big. But also, it's flexible enough that, for example, like this area here around my nose, it can just easily curve so it actually hits all the skin. And not just, you know, sort of misses part of it. And I can also easily use it here and just, you know, it just works perfectly fine. It's just a brush I really, really, really like. It's of all the face brushes I've tried so far, the one, the only one that I really feel like my skin just is really helped with. Um, so yeah, that's uh, basically my conclusion. And also, again, I really think it's great that their warranty is actually good. Like, that they actually just send you a new one if yours decides to randomly break within a year. Which they're not supposed to, they're supposed to just last for years by the way, like I think my last one is to, I don't know, probably some fabric mistake, mishap, I have no idea. 
not a technician, so I don't know what actually went wrong with it in the end. But of course, they are supposed to last for years and not for less than a year. Otherwise, they wouldn't have the warranty probably. Um, but yeah, they do cost about 110 to 120 euros out of the top of my head. I'll put information down below. This isn't sponsored by the way. This is just a product that I originally bought myself and decided to review for you. Um, but yeah, so they're quite expensive, but I definitely think they're worth the price. And yeah, so basically that's my uh, entire conclusion. I really hope this video was useful for you. Um, if it was useful or at least fun to watch, uh, please do click the like button. It would really help me out. And if you want to, you can also subscribe to my channel. I mostly do makeup tutorials, so putting makeup on my face instead of taking it off on camera. Um, also, below the video, again, I'll put all my um, details as well. Like, I'll put the details of the brush for a start. Just in case you want to look it up too. And I'll also put all my social media links and accounts there. Um, I'm mostly active on Instagram with makeup. And I'd love it if you'd follow me there. Uh, other than that, I'm just going to uh, go actually, you know, finish my skincare routine now. I hope you'll have a wonderful day. Thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you next time. Bye!